Welcome everyone to HFN, also known as Houston News. Today is March the 7th, 2021, and we're here to give you all a stock price prediction for Carlos. It is a recently merged SPAC. Uh, it was a SPAC, you guys can tell, based off where the price initially started when it was exchanged on the stock market. Okay, it started around $10 per share. That is where all, stack, all SPACs start at. So we're gonna give you all a price prediction for this market before i do let me plug each and every one of you all into our website hughfinancial.com check that area out you guys will see all of our plays there for free when i charge you all anything for the plays that we are noticing in the stock market everyone else is trying to charge you for plays just for you to see where they expect the market to go well we're getting to you for free because this market is easy to understand and we're going to show you that on this video for car lots also hit the like button share the video also subscribe to the channel we're simply here to ensure that all of us are in position to capitalize on where we expect price to go you guys can see it the market in car lots is in a downtrend so don't let no one else tell you anything different that is the current environment of this stock and one of the crazy thing is, is that this market actually broke the initial price from once it started on the stock exchange, which is around ten dollars. Right. So this is a massive, massive indication of how weak the market in car lots is. OK. So now we're going to create that line right there. We're going to continue to track it. We're going to follow the market in car lots all right so we're going to see from where the market closed on friday right here around seven dollars and ninety cents can we see the market actually gain some more momentum and juice to where we can see it come back up to 850 even around nine dollars let's see because looking at this on different time frames the market has completely fell off massively now this last completed three day price bar, pay attention. You see that volume? It is extremely light comparative to what we've been accustomed to into the market in lots. That is very good to see, especially since we're seeing the market all the way down here towards $7 and $6.50. Now, uh, let's look at this on the five day time frame. Again, we're seeing the market in lots trade all time lows so far in this space but it doesn't mean that we can't make a play on it it doesn't mean that we can actually forecast where price is going to go okay so now weekly time frame same thing now where we close that on this weekly time frame can actually be indicative of buyers entering the market in car lots seeing how it became so cheap and how low the market went we can actually see the market in car lots go higher in price but it's red all across the board. I mean, the last two, three week price bars, this market in car lots has completely fell off. So we'll have to look at this market in an hourly time frame to actually make to actually make a determination if we see strength entering in because on a weekly, on a five day time frame, on a three day time frame, we're not seeing any strength at all in the market for lots. So let's take a look at this real quick on these hourly time frames. OK, so we're looking at this on a 13 hour chart. Definitely need a downtrend is in play. 11 hour time frame doesn't change much. Nine hour doesn't change much. Let's go to five. So now the five hour chart, we can actually see something occur, right? We can actually see that on that last five hour price chart price bar the market actually moved higher that was the first time we've seen the market in lots close higher than a previous close which is a very good thing to see kind of kind of lets us know that we may have found the bottom momentarily i'm not saying that we stopped from going lower period but definitely we've seen some instance that the market wants to reclaim some of the loss that it did prior to us coming all the way down to six dollars and fifty cents. So that's good to see. What about on the three hour time frame? Pretty much see the same thing. Now, 
I'm here to give you all a heads up though. Okay, this is where the restriction area is going to come in at into the market in lots. $8.25. That is the first area and this is the second area. So even though we can anticipate the market in lots to go higher in price, these are the two areas right there that we would expect to see more selling enter to where we would expect the trap to find some problems trying to break up price right there. All right, so when we do this price prediction, keep in mind that we would TP the market in lots right there around $8.20 initially, all the way up here towards $8.80, okay? So let's run this out real quick. Let's run the numbers and see how much of a percentage gain that would be. So right there around $7.80, I'm sorry, eight dollars and twenty-five cents. It's about four point eight two percent. I'll take that. I mean, the market is in a downtrend, so any movement higher, you need to be quick to come into the market and grab and go. This is nothing to come in and hold on to this particular market just yet. And all the way up there around eight dollars and eighty-two cents will be around almost twelve percent profit, right there. You guys can already tell. Six fifty is support. OK, that is where the market has established itself as being support. OK, so what do you all think? Do you think the market in lots is a buy? Do you think the market's going to continue to go lower in price to where we can go well below a dollar? Could be in the long term, no doubt, because there is definitely no strength here into the market for this stock okay now let me do this real quick we're going to hold support in the market in lots right there around seven dollars okay initially now look at all that volume that came in on that last 30 minute chart price bar all right so let's do that we're going to play the strength into the market in lots we're going to expect it to go higher in price uh, we have seven dollars at support ultimately eight dollars and eighty cents as restriction in the market in lots and we would tp a little bit in the market right there around eight dollars and 25 cents all right so let's go ahead and take this off don't want to cause no confusion on our charts i'm not going to do that and we're going to play this just like that so now we can pretty much see lots trade like this over the next couple of trading days once we get closer, we will make that determination if we're going to continue to go lower or are we going to break that downtrend to where we're going to really trade sideways and then eventually resume back up to higher price. So what I'm expecting the market in lots to do is trade this way. OK, that's what I'm looking for. And then once we come to that descending line, we'll make a determination if we're going to break it or this is what's going to happen. We're going to continue to follow it and go down so be on the lookout for that in car lots and that's it questions comments let us know definitely give us your comment below if you think that car lots is a buy if so where would you take the lick where would you take your bread and walk out the store let us know with your comment below make sure you maintain a profitability and as always trade different